This is the Cum Marker B4 Fiber Laser. And this is me with the unsafe safety goggles on. And also the big question is, can we make money from one of these machines? Let's get started. First of all, this is a prototype of a 20 watt fiber laser. They've been coming down in price lately and there are fiber lasers on the market below $2,000 at the moment. And if you've seen my videos in the past, you know I've tried a bunch of diode lasers. But this is a different type of laser. Unlike diode lasers that can engrave non-reflective materials, this one can engrave metals. It could supposedly also cut some metal, but that's not what it's intended for. Its main thing is to engrave metal and plastic. The machine comes with the base, the laser module, a pair of safety goggles that the company has decided to replace since they aren't safe enough, a foot pedal for doing quick repeated cuts, some acrylic pieces for aligning, and this rotary that seems pretty decent. It also comes with a mount for using the laser hand held against a wall or something. But that seems like something I would never really use. The focus is set by either cranking the handle on top or the buttons on the front of the machine. There's also a stop switch on the front. And the focus is showed by these three dots that mark when the material is in focus. You can also hear when the laser is in focus when using it. It kind of sparks and yeah, you can just hear it, that it's engraving. The software that comes with the machine is for Windows computers and it's called SCAD. I'm a Lightburn user, so I'll be using that instead. To be able to use Lightburn though, you need to pay an additional fee for fiber lasers. When you have the laser focused and your material placed on the bed, you can use the software to frame the piece. There are a couple of different framing options, but it will show you where it will engrave. And the framing can also be adjusted inside the software to make sure it frames the object correctly. Since the laser removes material and creates a fine dust of metal, you should use some kind of extraction. I'm using a vacuum until I have something better in place. So put on your safety or your unsafe safety goggles and start the engrave. And this will usually be really quick because the laser doesn't travel on a gantry like the diode lasers usually do. Instead, it is directed by mirrors and therefore the machine can move as fast as 15,000 millimeters a second. Compare that to a diode laser that does around 15,000 millimeters a minute. I made a couple of test pieces and you should probably do this for different types of materials to be able to set the correct settings that you want because you might want to get a really dark color or a light color in other cases. The longevity of the laser is supposed to be 100,000 hours and that's non-stop engraving for over 4,000 days. So let's just try this machine out. So one thing I really want to do is some custom leather buttons. But first, let's try some plain aluminium business cards. These are plated with color, which means it will remove the color and reveal the aluminium beneath. I'm going to do this in real time so that you can appreciate the speed of the laser. The details on this are just amazing. I mean, it's really, really sharp. If you don't have a laser, a 3D printer or a CNC, you can use a service to create your designs. And that brings us to today's sponsor, PCBWay. They can help you manufacture your designs from 3D printing and CNC milling. Just upload your designs to their website, have them quote you for the price and you can have them make it for you. They also offer great support and really quick delivery times. Go check out PCBWay.com for more information. Thanks PCBWay. So if you want to repeat your project, they supply you with these alignment pieces that can be attached to the bed of the laser. And these are just stainless steel nameplates that I like to attach to my furniture like a signature. And I also have one of these stainless steel hip flasks that I want to give to my brother for Christmas. So I hope he doesn't watch the video. 
I just vectorized his face, so let's try that. These are stainless steel, and to get the black marks, I'm not really engraving the stainless steel, but rather something called annealing. I'll explain it more later. But what it does is leave a really nice black mark, and there's no engraving to it all. So the surface will remain smooth, and I like that. They also supplied me with this rotary extension. It connects to the back of the machine, and then in software you can set it up and have it engrave round objects like rings or mugs or whatever. So I tried a couple of rings and that is actually really cool. You can tilt the entire rotary and actually engrave the inside of the ring as well. I also tried plastic and leather and that engraves very fine as well. And since the detail is so high, it gives a much better result than a dyed laser can do. Another cool thing to be able to do is to engrave hardware. For instance, I tried these bolts and I just engraved a small logo and it looks really cool to be able to do custom hardware like that. And since the detail is so high, I can go really small with these types of things. One thing that I've noticed with these cheaper fiber lasers is that they do handheld as well. And I'm not that strong of a believer in that, even though the laser is very quick, holding the laser for a couple of seconds without moving can be quite tricky. They supply this fence that attaches to the lens so that you can kind of lean it against whatever you're engraving. At least it can be done if you really have the need for it. But it's not something you will use often, I suppose. Now, I really want to make my own leather buttons, so I tried doing these simple small push buttons that are made of some kind of brass, I suppose. So I engraved my logo onto it, and that is just a really fancy detail for leather crafting. It looks really awesome on this small wallet I made, for instance. And since it's so fast, I can just make a batch of them and have them ready for the next project. My wife actually helped me out on my last project making the kneeling chair. She did the sewing for the cushions and she made me buy her a new scissor as kind of payment for her labor. So now I'm going to mark this scissor with her name and then I'll do a quote on them as well. And I'm only annealing them, not engraving. The way annealing differs from engraving is that it kind of burns the metal instead of engraving it. And a good way of achieving this is taking the laser about three to five millimeters out of focus. And that gives us this black mark without engraving into the steel. Annealing typically only works with stainless steel though. The current Kickstarter price is $1,999, so add in the price for the software if you want to use Lightburn. It is expected to ship in February, and compared to other fiber lasers, the price is actually quite good. There are cheaper alternatives, but they usually offer less engrave size. And regarding the engrave size, they have announced on the Kickstarter project that they will ship this machine with two different lenses. One that is for 110 millimeters, that's the one I have, and one that is 220 millimeters. So this is not a laser that you just get for the fun of it. I mean, if you're about to get one of these, you should really need to use it for your business or something. But if you want to make money off of it, you can certainly do like name tags and maybe even dog tags and just sell them online. You can basically customize anything metal with this. So there are, of course, many opportunities. I would advise you to do your own research before you purchase a machine like this, but I'll have a link down below to the Kickstarter for this particular laser. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.